A Syracuse team missing one of its starting center backs and its starting keeper proved they have a next man up mentality, dominating shots and possession en route to a convincing 2-0 victory over Niagara at the SU Soccer Stadium Monday night. Head coach Ian McIntyre was pleased with how his team responded to the adversity. The story for us is, yes, you know, we had 22, 23 shots and we probably should have scored some more goals. Um, but I also thought that uh, I'm proud of the fact that, you know, adversity, um, you know, you, you, one of your centre backs is down. Uh, you lose a goalkeeper in warm up. It didn't, uh, it didn't affect our guys at all. And uh, they found a way. Ultimately, um, you know, it was great for a, a freshman in Caloff who, look, we trusted him. He played the last minutes of the game because he was terrific and, and found a way to, what a cheeky goal to, uh, uh, to kind of ice the game. We noticed that they were playing a very high line and there's a lot of space in behind and um, you know, the midfielders behind me, the players around me did a great job getting me in behind. Um, could have had two, three, you know, four goals, but uh, that's the way the game goes sometimes. Um, happy about one, uh, to get one, happy we won the game and uh, now we look forward to the next game on Friday. Next up for the Orange, a trip to Charlottesville to take on Virginia. Now, the Cavaliers received votes in this week's AP poll and are sure to present a tough challenge for Syracuse as they hope to open ACC play with a win. Reporting from the SU Soccer Stadium, Danny Tao, Citrus TV.